All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the anticipated 2024 fourth sequel to the Planet of the Apes film called Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Now here's the plot. Many years after the reign of Caesar, a young ape goes on a journey that will lead him to question everything he's been taught about the past and make choices that will define a future for him, for the apes, and humans alike. Now here's some of the cast. This is easy one of my favorite franchises in modern times because of how well done Caesar's character was written and how well done uh, the acting was. And I forgot who the actor's name was, I'll put it up. So I honestly was worried about how I would feel about this without him in it. But honestly, the new actor of the new ape, Noah, did a good but not great job. I did like his character a lot though. So I'm not saying that he, he's horrible or even close to it. He's, he does a good job. I definitely approve of this. I'm a huge fan of this franchise, so I definitely approve. But he's no the other actor. Um, it's uh, and, and I'll go on and on about how there's another actor character in here that is actually kind of a surprising for her, who it is, the actor is, for a better job. Now, to be honest, it felt a like a completely different film while having Caesar's story in the background. Which is fine if they are trying to set up a new franchise. Now I will say that they could have easily done a part of like t five to ten parts of this film and left it in the other one and then they did what uh, so it would be three films and then they went with this one and started a whole new trilogy that's still connected to the other one but it's all at the same time a different thing if that makes any sense look at the lord of the rings you got the three hobbits and then you got the uh the lord of the rings originals so there's some pretty much like that uh just like the first one the cgi of the apes and how the actors slash apes reacted to each other and humans was pretty darn impressive to watch as always same with the camera placements the King Ape, played by Kevin Dur Durand, and I think I pronounced that right, but he's the one I was talking about a couple minutes ago, had such a presence, such great dialogue, that he stood out way more than any other uh, action, motion actor actors in here, even the f uh, female in here. Uh, other, overall, the story was good and entertaining. I liked it a lot. However, it did have some filler scenes, and as... A whole, it didn't feel as strong compared to the last three films, or at least the first two, especially the second one, uh, but still good nonetheless. Now, here's my rating. I'll come back with my final thoughts. Now, if I kind of seem a little bit shaking over the place, it's because it is really hot in here and I have the AC off and fans. So you guys so you guys should have the best quality. But again, I like this film a lot, but it was definitely not needed at all. And that is my hugest criticism, criticism for this film. The third film ended perfectly, so technically it's up to you if you wish to watch this. It's not required in my opinion. It honestly just added not needed story to an already finished story. Again, entertaining. It was good. Uh, had a couple issues, but overall it was flat out a not needed cash crap. Now, sometimes in rare occasions that could be a good thing, and that's kind of this one. But, and again, it's, I, I strongly criticize the making of this. Um, now, if you're going to do two more films like this, uh, connected to this specific one, okay. Now, but I've heard that this is, they're going to reboot it once again. And if you know anything about the Planet of the Apes says, they pretty much milked the holy hell out of anything. More than the Fast and Furious franchise. So, I mean, in the end, either way, I, I would be interested in seeing where they go with this specific story of Noah, if they continue it, 
um, or this world in general, but is it needed I at this point? I don't think so. That's just my opinion. But as always, leave your opinion down below. I'm always curious. Um, anyways, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.